So you also, of course, you want to present uh, your work and the life at, in Nairobi to the rest of the world, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the main thing also for me is like uh, where I come from in Kibera. Most people are like uh, when they hear you come from Kibera, they try to like they're afraid of you. You tell a client that you're uh, in Kibera, the studio in Kibera, and they're afraid to go there just because of the conception, misconception they mm -hmm. have of Kibera is a terrible place. But then uh, I think uh, through art, we've really changed that notion and people are beginning to see that. Uh, you can show them, I guess, another yeah. vision, another yeah. way of Kibera. Yeah. What about Slam TV? Have you presented your project somewhere else? Um, basically, we've gone for like conferences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like um, maybe to interact some with some people from another from other countries, and because we are we we really don't have the funds, so sometimes we decide um, to have one member or two going. But this time we had the privilege to come to Austria, like 16 of us. So <coughs> basically, we have presented some, there's some members who have represented us in Spain and in Denmark. Okay. Yeah. But, so this is the first time that such a big group of Slam TV is going outside and presenting yeah. your work in Austria. Yeah. So, as I said, it's a pleasure to have you here. Um, You have some connections to Austrian supporters as well in Vienna, is that right? Mm, I would say we do because one of our founders is a citizen of Vienna. Ah, okay. Yeah. So this is the way. Um, are we maybe already able to connect to Krems? We will be in a minute, I hear. So, um, You told me at the beginning that uh, you're now a group of nine people, I think. Mm, at the yeah. beginning you were two. Um, how can, can people from, uh, how can other artists join you? Is it any, do you have anything, uh, is it open for anyone or? Yeah, it's, uh, it's open to anyone, especially artists around Kibira. Mm -hmm. But then uh, the studio space itself won't contain more than nine people at this moment. But uh, our main objective this year is to like uh, expand our studio a little bit so that it could be big and can accommodate uh, every artist that comes there. So yeah. you're still trying to um, get more people in your team also? Yeah. yeah. Of course. Um, and how is the foundation like? So um, where do you, uh, do you earn any money or do you get supported by anyone? Mm, luckily or unluckily, <laughs> we don't get support from anyone. It's like whatever we sell, we usually have a commission for the studio. And that is the way we run the studio. That is the way we buy our materials. Um, By selling your artworks yeah, also. Yeah. Great. Um, you, um, as we were talking before, you sometimes are also working together when you um, would like to have an artistic aspect in your works. Uh, maybe you can just tell us about one example. What have you already done together? Like, this is the first time we're working together because when we built our slum, we wanted some portraits to be there. Uh, we wanted some paintings and... We wanted some graffiti to be written on our slum, and thank God they were there, they helped us do that. Yeah, and I think uh, before we came here, there was also an exhibition at the Goethe Institute, and um, it involved the slum TV also, and uh, we also had got a chance of exhibiting our things there with them in the same hall, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see, so it sounds really interesting. Yeah. Well. I heard that the web stream to Krems should already work, is that right?